πέντε τεσσερά Τρία δύο ένα the heart of Nausa, a small city in northern Greece, there's been a small and quiet revolution. As a new generation takes control of small family estates, there's been a profound change in the wines produced here. At Domain Diamantakos, with the third generation in charge now, Giorgos Diamantakos talks to us about his family's wines. Uh, we are in the farm here in the vineyard. Xinomavro, my father and grandfather start and plant the vineyard. I suppose I'm the third generation of winemaking. My father and grandfather start and build the, wine, the, the winery. I study enologist and now continue the tradition of the family and of course put my new ideas and uh, everything uh, we want to, to grow and increase the quality of our products. <laughs> The winemaking facilities are located in the middle of the vineyards with state-of-the-art equipment and an in-house laboratory. The wines being crafted here are of the highest quality. Giorgo's style seems to be right in the middle between traditional and modern, capturing the elegant rusticity of the varietal without being too intrusive with extraction and oak. This vineyard particularly we're standing, it's around 35 years old. My father and grandfather planted the vineyard at the early of 80s. 1981, uh, and uh, on the other side, we have our new plant, our new vineyard uh, from a local grape variety we call it Preknadi, which is a grape uh, we used to cultivate it in Nausa uh, before Philoxera strike out all the vineyards, and in some way we forgot it. Now, before a decade, I start, I took a small, uh, some eyes, some, uh, some clusters from an old man who had a small vineyard over there, very close to me, and I plant my, my vineyard of Preknadi. It's around 10 years old now, and we continue, we plant another two hectares before four years to increase our uh, quantity and uh, our vineyards of Preknadi. So we produce two labels, Nausa, and uh, Preknadi. Nausa, uh, the, the variety is uh, Xenomavro 100% and Preknadi 100% uh, of Preknadi. Uh, this area we're standing uh, is called in Mademi. Mademi here is Nausa. Uh, we call the, the, the stone we have uh, at, the, at the soil, which it's full of calcium and uh, magnesium. So, so it results to wines with a little bit higher pH level, which is good on, from the side of uh, creating a lot of aromas in our wines and very good structure and colorness. It's a little bit difficult to preserve all this freshness and uh, uh, wait the, the wine to mature well in the, in the barrel. It's, uh, it has its advantage and disadvantage. Diamantakos seems to be constantly evolving with a clear goal in mind to increase the quality of his wines. Here are the samples. I took samples from the barrel yesterday. Now I'm regrouping my own because we didn't have wine on the start of the thing. So one year behind, now we are changing the bottles for the new vintage. Of course we don't want all my bottles to be fresh. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday we had a tasting. It's not that the vertical tasting. It depends on the O. We, we realize that it's 
Changes are constantly being made to assure this. Starting with the 2013 vintage, the amount of new oak barrels used has been sharply reduced. Going forward, Giorgos is tinkering with 500 liter barrels that will make his expression of Sinomavro more focused and ultimately better. Thank you.